Hey folks, it is Kevin here, and hope you're all doing well. It is a hot, hot, disgustingly hot, freaking weekend here in uh, in Japan. So I'm here in Kobe, Japan, and I want to make a video. So I'm making a video because that's what I do when I want to make a video. I make them. I don't know. Maybe the heat's getting to me. It's going a bit crazy. All right. So here's the deal, guys. Um, you know that I'm back. I'm putting videos up, well, especially here in JLine Kev, because uh, um, minimal editing. This is the key. This is how I get things done. And um, you know, I was I was on Twitter today, and I was I was having a chat with um, a guy I've been following for quite a while, uh, and he is a teacher who lives in South Korea, and was also in the past a teacher here in Japan as well. And he goes by Once a Traveler. That's his handle at Once a Traveler on Twitter. And um, I followed him on Twitter for quite a while before I actually started watching his YouTube videos, which is actually something I've only done very recently. And I've actually only very recently subscribed to his YouTube channel, which is uh, Once a Traveler, so youtube.com slash once a traveler. And he's got some interesting stuff, very interesting stuff, um, very interesting perspectives um, as an English teacher living in a very, very small kind of city town. I use city loosely. Um, in Korea, um, and he also had lived in Japan for many years, um, and has a very interesting perspective, that kind of dual perspective that I have. I mean, I lived in Korea for uh, five and a half years, and now I'm entering my fourth year here in Japan. So it's also good to see someone else who has that kind of perspective. Now here's the deal, he's got uh, 22 videos up on his channel, um, some rather lengthy videos, some of them are rather lengthy, but you know, if you're interested in teaching in Korea, uh, or life in Korea, and you're interested in Japan and stuff like that. Um, it's good stuff. It's quality stuff. So I'm going to make a shout out suggestion to you. I'm going to tell you guys all go to Once a Traveler and subscribe to his channel. Links below. As of the time I'm making this video, he's only got 16 subscribers. Um, and uh, 16 subscribers. That's all. And his videos are very informative. Um, he is a runner. Um, he's a teacher. Again, he lived in, in Japan, now he lives in Korea. Um, recently, he actually um, took a vacation, on a vacation. He left Korea, he flew to Japan, and uh, went to Iwate, Ken, uh, up north, the area that was hit by the earthquake and tsunami, and did volunteer work cleaning up, the, the cleanup and recovery volunteer work like, for his vacation. That's, man, that's, that's awesome. So go check out Once a Traveler. Click below click the link, uh, youtube.com wants a traveler, and subscribe to his channel. And this guy's only got 16 subscribers. He's got quality videos. And again, if you're like interested in living in Korea, um, you're interested in Japan too, because he's got that perspective. He lived in Japan. Um, go subscribe to his channel. Give this guy some support. All right. And uh, there you go. So see you guys later. It's Kevin here. Sweating my bagolas off in friggin' Japan. I got a big fan here, but it's it's just not helping. I don't have, I don't have air conditioning here in my uh, my computer room slash man cave. So uh, yeah, it's not very caveish, is it? By the way, guys, no, my head isn't red. I don't have sunburn. I haven't been drinking too much. Just I've got bad lighting in here. Okay, so I've got like three dim lights in this room, which when turned on um, at nighttime when I film make me look like a tomato head. Tomato head. Tomato head. Oh, all right, okay. The heat's making me go crazy. All right, guys, later from Kevin here in Japanland. Take care and keep watching.